Hi, welcome. I just created a video telling you what the difference is between Arch Linux, Arch Linux D, and Arch Linux B. So that's the basis of what you start with an ISO that you burn, preferably free with Edges, for instance, because that's going to work on Windows, Mac, and Linux. And then you boot up and install it. So you have three choices. Now, I'm going to tell you that whatever you choose, you can always install other desktops and that's what this video is about and we have of course tutorials for it there are two things i would like to visit with you guys first of all i've had to tell somebody on youtube don't you know there is this cheat sheet right so the documents there is a document you can download which is going to give you an overview of all the possibilities that you have so you can have a look how do i install bspwm you type in sudo pacman minus s that one sudo pacman minus s that one and so on right until you end it here these guys are not necessary they will conflict with others but these guys the green and the orange you'll need it to have a full-fledged tiny window manager like bspwm Others are not so picky. Cinnamon is cinnamon. And deeping and deeping extra is enough already, right? Um, if you want to have our settings, that's something else. But the desktop itself is mostly this line, the first uh, column here. So that's one thing. You have a cheat sheet, right? So that's the manual approach, which is always great because then you know, uh, very tuned, you're very tuned into the operating system and you really know what package is a result of a new desktop, right? What we have also is a Ctrl Alt E, which is our tweak tool. And that's rather new. And the tweak tool, we're always working on a tweak tool, but there is this desktop installer. And the advantage of disadvantage, well, there, there are disadvantages and there are advantages. The advantages is very clear. Click, boom, it's installed, right? But the thing is, it's our choice. If you have a look at the awesome cheat sheet, so this one, that one, and this one, and all the others, maybe you would like to have other choices. Well, you have to do that manually in sudo pacman minus s in a terminal. Here you don't have really a choice. BSPWM, well, one, two, three, four, five, it's installed. BSP has been installed. BSPWM has been installed. It's that easy, all right. This video, this video that I'm now making, is going to go on this particular website. We have called this Superflex, right? We changed packages, we renamed it, we revisited everything in December 2019, which gives us a super flexibility. And this is it. You start with Plasma and you add i3wm with a cheat sheet or now with a tweak tool. But basically, whatever you start with, Arch Linux, Arch Linux D, or Arch Linux B, it's super easy to just keep adding desktops. The tool is not gonna delete things. That's really too complex, right? But it's going to add stuff. So let's try it out, log out. You'll see that this is um, XFC Openbox i3, but we have awesome now, we have BSPWM now, so I don't know, I choose just this one to just show you that's gonna work. As well here, Ctrl Alt E, I had this idea, I wanna visit Mate. Well, desktop installer, awesome, Mate, install and wait it out. Now this is of course the speed of your internet and the speed of your computer and so on. Some of these guys are big, uh, Plasma is a little bigger than the others, but it will just install whatever it needs. And in the end, if you want to know, again, super shift enter, we're on the tiling window manager, right? Let's move him out of the way. He's uh, floating right now. We can change this like this. No, we can't. So he's here, but we have in the downloads. Uh, oh, I didn't save the download. Remember that I went to Firefox, that's probably still in there. So this guy, 
I just opened it and didn't save it. So save file would have been better. Then I could go to super shift enter to the downloads and show you again. What is he doing now? He is going to do this. You can type this as well. Pseudo Pacman minus S Mate. Mate dash extra. That's happening in this black box, which is a nice black box, but it's still a black box, right? Desktop is installed. Well, I'm not so sure. Super X, you log out. Let's log out. And we log out or log in back as Mate. And this is just so awesome. And yes, it does not look as ours because, well, there are differences in uh, systems, in desktops. And that's why, of course, we have Arclinks B ISOs where everything is themed and tweaked and changed and keyboard shortcuts. And it's just perfect. But it's uh, nice to know anyway, to have a look and say, OK, I'm going to fix this. I can do this. Look and feel appearance. Mm -hmm. Custom, customize, lots of things in here. But I see Aqua Dark, Aqua Dark. Aha, uh -huh. that's already better. And then maybe go inside this one as well. Customize and then maybe the window border, the icons. Well, let's change the icons. Why not Numix Circle this time? Close. OK, fine. And all right, right mouse click. How about this wallpaper? Change desktop wallpaper. Hmm. All right, how about this one? Okay, and so you and so on and so on and so on. I mean, it's just super to be playing with your own operating system that way, right? And um, it's fun. And this is the super flexible idea that whatever you start with, Arch Linux or Arch Linux D or Arch Linux B, is just a few commands away, basically, if you are into typing into terminal codes, then this is your cheat sheet, right? Everything is right in here. And you end where you think you should end and try it out and say, okay, it's not working. I'm missing a package. It needs more, right? And that's um, that's the fun to be a little bit of Sherlock Holmes and figure out what Lego blocks do I need to have a working system that I like, okay? That's it for me. Have fun with uh, these tools that we provide. And uh, cheers.